Welcome back, travelers. This side of Havoc here, and we are back on Project Ozone 2 in Kappa Mode. And yes, as you can see, I'm just kind of flying out in the middle of nowhere. And this is mostly because I was doing a test, and then also because, well, I can. I can fly anywhere I want now. But I was kind of testing the whole frame rate issue, right? And as you can see, I'm actually at a normal 60 frames. And I'm realizing that's actually what causing the issue is I'll stay at 60 frames until the storage drawers load, and then they drop a little bit. And you can see it kind of flexes a little bit, and then the more they load, they flex. So I'm thinking it's the storage drawers that actually cause my frames droppage, which I really dislike because I want a nice smooth frame rate uh, for recording for you guys, but these things are just killing me. And I, I turned off all the, the tile entities, but I don't know if it's still... I, I don't know what's causing it, but yeah, I mean, over there, I've got 60. Over here, I've got 35, 40. So, oh, well, well, it's kind of bouncing around a little bit. Looking a little bit better. It just, it's crazy because I should be just maintaining a perfect 60 frames. I don't know why it's not, but it's okay. No reason to waste too much time on that. I was just kind of showing you that I can fly. And so I was testing that out and I was like, hey, you know what? Let's start recording because I've got some stuff I want to get done. So... Today, I've got a little bit of, you know, just kind of paying attention to our quests and stuff like that. And then also, I've got a little bit of project for myself that I've been kind of working on and trying to figure out how I'm going to do. I expanded my farm a little bit. And as you can see, I've actually got two of them turned off because I think I explained to you guys that I get overlap um, with the octetic capacitor in these guys. Let me back up. These are so, you know, what? I'm going to turn them off while we're here. It's, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just so loud. So I get a little bit of overlap with these guys. Uh, the octetic capacitor actually reaches over to like this row right here. So this one will actually grab from this row. This one will actually grab from this row and vice versa. Like it, they all kind of grab from each other. And I had to stop that because I planted a new area over here. Now I haven't turned these into 10, 10, 10 seeds yet, but I will soon. I was just trying to find some useful seeds that we might be able to, you know, get some use out of. So I made some dirt seeds. Which, by the way, is absolutely awesome. And I... St <laughs> Check this out. I, I gotta show you. I I'll show you after I explain this. Um, but anyway, so I also made some Enderman seeds. So these are gonna give us Ender Pearls. I made some Nature seeds as well as some Water seeds. Because these two together, I can make wood. And that's what today's episode is gonna concentrate on is uh, being able to mass produce wood as well as the Earth seeds, which create dirt. All right. so I've been trying to figure this out. And as you can see... I have 61,000 dirt, but that's not normally dirt. That's compressed dirt, which means I actually have close to, give or take, 54,000 dirt. I've got plenty of dirt to, to build with. I've said it many times before. I want to eventually, um, you know, change the overworld and from that cobblestone world into an actual little village and start building little, you know, areas here and there. And I'm going to need dirt for that. And my dirt stick, as amazing as it is, only gives me one at a time, where I can use my builder swan with that dirt. So that's where we're at with that right now. Um, anyways, the, the problem I'm having is the way that they craft. So all of these basically get sent straight to this compressor over here, and the, or compactor. Compactor takes them in and basically turns them into these blocks. So as you can see, I've got like almost a thousand ender pearls now. Uh, over 10, um, yeah, over 10,000 iron ingots, 25,000 gold, tons of redstone, tons of lapis, tons. Uh, I'm actually, these are maxed. Yeah, these are maxed. I'm not actually getting any more from them and almost maxed on lapis blocks. Diamond 17,000. Yeah, we're getting plenty of stuff. Absolutely plenty of stuff. But these don't craft the same way. These don't compact to get dirt you need to do uh, eight of them in a circle. So the middle crafting grid is open and I can't do that in the compactor, right? With the water and the uh, nature essence, it's three nature and one water to make wood, which once again, I can't do in the compactor, right? And these poor guys are just turned off because, well, 
I, I can't farm the rest. I guess I could turn this one on over here, but then it's going to grab some of these nature essences and it's not going to have anywhere to go. So it's just going to sit in here and fill that up. And I ended up with a whole bunch of stuff just kind of floating around and I didn't want that. So this was my project. How do I get these to craft for me and then get into the system? And of course you would think first thing you're going to look up is like an automatic crafting system, right? So I tried the auto workbench, right? And I set this bad boy down. And as you can see, I've got all the uh, facades here, but well, let me pull out my wrench so you can see. I've got all these facades here, but the, the cables are actually running through it, right? So I put this auto workbench here, right? It was pretty quick and simple. Put it down, basically have the dirt like pump into the auto workbench and it made dirt just fine just really, really slowly, and this would start backing up, and I had an issue with that. That wasn't working for me. So then I kept looking, I was like, well, hmm, we've got this auto crafting bench from Project Expansion. Only problem with that is, it doesn't accept the power that we can produce using like our conduits and stuff like that. It needs Project Red Power. That wasn't an option. Then I found this guy, and this is um, what I'm thinking might just be our answer. It is the advanced crafting table, right? Not too difficult to make. It's just some obsidian, a crafting table, a chest, and redstone chip set, which we have the ability to make because we have our um, assembly table and lasers and stuff like that. But I don't have a made yet. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go ahead and make up I'm thinking two of those because we're going to need one to make the dirt, but then we're also going to need one to make the wood. And I'm, th I'm hoping, let me go back so I can see everything. Yeah. Oh, I was, I was making sure all my power was connected properly. Yeah. So those are all running through just like that. So that's, that's my goal today is to get these auto crafting. And then we're going to see if there's any other useful seeds that we might need. Now, before I run away, I just want to show you this. We were, it still works fine, but I wanted a little more power. And so, um, this guy was actually putting out a decent amount. The thermal electric generator from immersive engineering was actually running all three of these farmers relatively well, not, not perfect. Um, I was having little power glitches here and there and stuff like that. And stuff would stop working for a second. I'd see no power, but for the most part, they were working pretty good, but I took the time to play around with some stuff and I actually was recording earlier, but I just didn't like the content. It wasn't flowing smoothly and I wasn't sounding my best basically. And so I didn't actually keep the, the content, but um, I had tried a, uh, a regular furnace generator and kerosene, and that actually worked relatively well. So I was like, okay, cool. We've got an option here. Then I saw this high temperature furnace and I tried that out. And one high temperature furnace gave me 400 RF per tick for like four minutes or something like that. So I was like, okay, let's upgrade it. So now this guy right here gives us 32 RF per tick. And I think one bucket of this kerosene lasts about 30 or 45 seconds, something like that. Which led me to how am I going to get this in here? I couldn't pipe straight from this because it wants the bucket and then it would get clogged up in the system. I couldn't figure out a good way to do it. And then I found the fluid tank from Ender IO and I'd seen this thing before. It's pretty cool. You basically put a bucket in, it fills up. And then all I have to do is just set this side over here to push pull. And so it pushes the kerosene bucket in. Once it's empty, it takes the bucket, fills it back up and puts it back in. And so there's always just a bucket waiting to start up again. So this worked out really well. And then the reason there's glowstone glass walls is just because I never find a use for this glowstone glass wall. We keep getting it in the chest. Uh, so, oh, um, yeah, okay. Anyway, so yeah, so I use that. The whole falling thing. Oh my gosh, I am so used to holding a uh, shift to like, you know, jump up and walk around because I'm not used to being able to fly again that I keep Ooh. falling off and I'm like, shift, oh no, and then I fall. I have almost, I have fallen into the void like twice and almost died and then had to try to fly back out of it. Ooh. It's kind of dangerous. I got used to, you know, holding shift and flying that way. So kind of crazy. But anyways, we're going to go make that table and uh, hopefully knock out a few quests in the meantime as well. But that's kind of the rundown of where we're at right now. I've been really trying to concentrate on finding productive stuff for that farm. And I think, well, we'll, we'll get back to that later. Anyways, we're gonna make this assembly table here.
right? So we need a crafting table, we need a chest, we need obsidian, and we need a redstone chip set. So what I'm going to do is, well, I need to get the assembly table first. Um, like so. Thank you. And then I need to get the lasers out. There's those right there. Hey, what are you going up for? Okay, cool. And I had the farm over here. So if I, if I remember correctly, I should have a power cable running right through the middle here. Somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Nope, that's the middle. So right here, I should have a power cable. Okay, I should. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's close. Apparently, I picked some of it up. Okay, so that'll allow us to connect our lasers. Um, let me get some conduit real quick. There we go. And we'll get this all kind of connected up. And we... Well, the laser's going to have to be a little higher. Okay, so if I put the assembly table right here... I can put the label, uh, the lasers, like right here, I think. Yes, because I'm going to need a chest next to the assembly. Yeah, yeah, so that'll work. All right, I'm just going to do a full circle. Uh, that's the yeah, space. There we go. Hopefully this works. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Uh, space, so you. Okay. Um, I might need some more conduit. We'll see. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need some more conduit. Um, there we go. So you, you... And you, right? One, two, three. I'm going to have to connect you. And, yep, I'm going to need more conduit. Not a problem. You can do that pretty easily, I think. Hey. All right, so let's go make some more redstone conduit. We're going to set this up. I really don't know too much about the assembly table. The first time I'd ever seen it was when I started playing um, uh, Infinity Vault. So that was kind of interesting. Um, here we go. Energy conduit. Should have, yeah, 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 that's more than enough. Let's just grab 16 of these guys for right now. Just want enough to get this set up, and eventually I will figure out how I want to, like, kind of permanently set this up. But for the time being, this will work. Okay, there we go. So then the lasers we'll put like this. Like a so. And then the assembly table will go right down in the middle. And I, I think I should be putting out enough power for this to run relatively effectively. We'll see. All right, so you guys like that. And then assembly table right there. Cool. And then I need, I believe it's redstone for that. Where? Red, 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 redstone. We'll just take a stack. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but we just need one redstone chipset. I believe that's the recipe for this one. Right there? Yeah, there we go. Hey, get in there. All right, cool. So let's see how long this takes to go. The lasers are booting up. They seem like they have enough power. They're staying consistent. They're going blue, which is good. I just don't know how long. Okay, not too long. Not too long. Oh, but I'm going to need two of these, aren't I? Because we're going to make two of those assembly tables. All right, so the first one just popped in my inventory. That we should, oh, the second one's right there. Okay. There we go. So we got the two shoot two chipsets, and now we should be able to make these assembly tables, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to get this done. Uh, advance. There we go. So I'm sure I'm gonna need to make some crafting tables because I know dang well I haven't made any crafting tables in a long while. So one, two, put you in there, and I should have chests. I should I should have the rest of it. There we go. Two of the assembly tables. And I'm also going to need uh, some conduit so I can push the items out to it there. And I'm assuming now. Okay. This is an interesting question, right? This table looks terribly similar to this one. And it's also BC silicon. So I'm wondering if this needs, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it does need power. Okay, cool. Does this get power? The same way that this gets power, do I have to have lasers? Let me see if I can make up some. If not, I'll just take those 12 with me right now. Because I want to have everything. I don't want to fall short and not have what I need. So, can I make some lasers up? I should be able to. I should have some dark steel. I can make two. Um, is dark steel the limiting factor? I haven't made any in a while. Nope, that's not. Are rubies the limiting factor? Ah, yes, rubies are the limiting factor. 
let us did you double in here you do okay cool so we'll make up some lasers real quick that should be good um let me split these in half okay so i should be able to make 11 lasers that shouldn't be too bad is redstone alloy somewhere? Aha, uh -huh. what's the recipe for this one? This one is silicon and redstone. Oh, we can do that. I'm pretty sure I have some silicon, and if not, I can always make some more. I have plenty of sand. Actually, didn't I just make some up recently? I did. I did. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and empty you out. No, I don't want that. So, hey. Hey. There we go. There we go. Redstone ally. Cool. Just put this junk in here for right now. Constantly just making stuff in here. Hoping for the best. All right. So that's going to give me one per. So how many lasers can I then make? Um, quite a few. Okay, cool. So I'm going to wait for this redstone alloy to finish up so I can at least make the 11 lasers. And hopefully that'll be enough to really uh, efficiently run that thing. I'm, I'm assuming, I am assuming, this is not, you know, something I know for sure, that the lasers are what that works on. I guess I could test it out, couldn't I? If I wanted to autocraft something, all those lasers should be close enough. What, do I have any essence in here? Did I put any in here? I know I've I've had so much of that uh, dirt essence. I do. Oh, yeah. Almost a thousand of it in there. So let's see if this works. If it's the lasers that I need. This is all a learning process right here. Okay, there's the recipe. It says I need 5,000 RF. So, does that work? Oh, yeah, there goes the light. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So, that's how that... Oh, wow, that is fast. That doesn't take much work at all. That's, that's pretty nice, actually. All right, cool. So, that does work. So, I am headed in the right direction. Now, I just got to get it all built. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, how much do I have? I got 15. That's still not as much as I need, but... Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah, it is. Perfect. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Okay, click you out. Um, Where'd you go? <sighs> I can never, ever get anything right the first time. I swear. Okay, you're all in there. Autofill. Come on. Come on. There we go. Eight of them. Cool. There's my 11. All right. Cool, cool, cool. We are good. So let us head back over there. And oh, I'm going to need some building blocks. Uh, I'm going to need some cobble or something. I could probably put the dirt back too. Um, I was only 15. Oh, let me just take those in. There we go. And let's put this dirt back. Let us go see if we can make this happen. I will be so happy. I will be so happy. So I'm thinking a platform right back behind it where the two tables are relatively close and the lasers are kind of like around it. Makes sense to me. Oh yeah, I don't shift anymore. Ha ha ha. Okay. So we'll do this and then it doesn't have to be a big platform, right? All right, one, two, three. One, two, three. Right. Um, tables in the middle. Oh, that's actually the row for the lasers. Ah. So, we're going to go ahead and put one table. You know what? We're going to put them side by side. So, we're going to do like this. Right? And I can put a laser in the middle, I guess. I don't know. This probably won't stay like this, but at least it's a start. All right. So, I can kind of get the idea of how I want this design. Right, and then I'm going to need to fill conduit all right down here. Power straight through. Okay, a little open space there. So the conduit's going to go right here. Yeah, because I can put a chest right in the middle. Yeah, that'll work. All right, and same right here. There we go. And I guess I'm going to run the power. There's no reason to run it all the way around. That's kind of crazy. So we'll do this. 
I if if this is like totally confusing you guys, it's confusing me too. I'm kind of going crazy right now. But I've got an I've got a plan. So, all right. So, one, two, three, and four right here. And one, two. Do I not have any more conduit? Did I not? Do I do I need to go make more redstone conduit? I guess I do. All right, but let's put these lasers, the lasers I do have down. So we'll do this. And they should be able to reach on both sides. So that should work. All right, so I'm gonna go, oops. I'm gonna go grab some more redstone conduit and finish getting this built up and then we'll come back and see how it's working once I actually get it all in place. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got all the conduit put in. We've got all the facades put on, so everything looks, I think, pretty clean. I might kind of change the design of the ground a little bit, but, you know, that's totally not a you know, important part right now. So now, oh, you know, I still got to put the item conduit. So this guy is going to feed into this, right? This is where I really have to kind of do the math in my head. And I think I'm going to need some filters. I think that is going to be... Yeah, I'm going to need some filters that basically puts priority on these two, but at the same time only accepts um, the essences that I need. So, hey, come on. There we go. So, you're going to be, you're going to be in out, right? And you're going to be in out, right? Okay, cool. And then, yeah, I need to go get some item filters. I totally forgot about that. We'll need for item filters so I can pull just the essences I want into there and we'll just put them on a higher priority so we make sure that they go there instead of to somewhere else. I guess that was kind of an obvious statement, yeah. Sometimes, you know, I just say the darndest things. And I don't, it's funny because like, you know, this is my tool bag and I've called this my tool bag for a while and my painting machine, I just carry it around with me now. Um, I had set it down a little while ago and then I just, why don't I just carry it with me? Uh, so we are looking for filters. Do I have, oh, I've got a couple. Cool. All right. So we just need two filters, right? Yeah. And then we should have this set up and, oh, hopefully, hopefully everything goes right. And we start doing some good things here because I want like automation. It's all about automation. And this is all so nicely done right now that, uh, I want it to keep working like that. All right, so I'm going to need, well, I'm going to need my wrench again. Oh, you know what? I need to pluck them. So I'm going to need a little bit of you, a little bit of you, and a little bit of you. And let us access you right there. All right, cool. So insert filter like that. You are going to be just for my earth essence. Whitelist only. Your priority is going to be, I wish I could do it like shift click and make it really high. I, th well, I was adjusting this earlier and I think I set one to 20. So I just want to make sure that those are really high right now. You're going to be filtering nature essence and water essence. And that's all you get. And you're going to be way high too. I wish, come on, there's got to be a way to fit different. Nope. Apparently there's no way to do it faster. No big deal. We'll be okay. All right. So you get priority on those two and that's all you let in, right? Right. Now out. Oh yeah. I got to set the out. Out is going to be always active. So extract always active. This should send it back down to my boxes over there. Then we need to set the recipe. So this is going to be like this and that's going to make dirt. This is going to be, I believe it's three of these. And one water. Yes, and that makes wood. It makes four pieces of wood. Just That's one piece of wood per essence. That's freaking awesome. That is absolutely awesome. And then we got to go down here. And I got to put these two drawers down that I have here. Like so. Perfect. And... Let me go ahead and put the upgrades on you. So we're going to get one void on each of you and then that. And I think, I think, let's see. Okay. This one is maxed right here, right? 
And this only has one, yeah. So that's going to be more than enough. That's That gives you 26. Yeah, that's going to be more than enough. Let us go ahead and start this one up and see if this works. So you go. Do your thing. Let's see if it starts getting some dirt essence in here. Hopefully I did this right. Oh, oh, yeah, I saw it. There it goes. Oh, and the dirt has started. Awesome. You're in here. But you're... Are they going to try to share the lasers? What's going on? You're not working. Why are you not working? You're creating... You created all the dirt. So can I not have these next to each other? What's, what's going on here? Why aren't you working? This is a little upsetting. They all want to work for just this one. Hmm. Well, that's very curious. I Man, I don't mind that that one works, but I would like you guys to share your lasers. Maybe what I need to do is space out the lasers a little bit. I think they got like a nine block range. I believe that's how they work. So do I, I got some energy conduit. Let me go ahead and space these out a little bit more so I can use like, you know, maybe five on one and five on the other. And I don't know, we'll just put one in the middle and let it decide. And we'll see how that works. So I'll be right back after I readjust this. All right, Travos, this is my call for help from you guys. You guys are awesome and you constantly are providing great advice. I don't know what else to do. Um, I fully separated it, as you can see. And so now each one of these is 12 blocks apart. Right, so I believe they have 11 block range. So technically, this one is in range of that and this one is in range of this one. But if anything else, these three are completely separate on each side, it should just designate to that. I don't know what the deal is. As you can see, the pattern's in here. It's got the materials to make it, but it doesn't want to work. I, I, I'm at a loss. If I throw these essence in here, and these essence in here. You'll watch this one start working right away. It makes the dirt, it sends the dirt away, it's good. This one, however, not so much. I did for a moment get this one laser to spark a little bit and then it just kind of stopped. So it's not, I don't know what else to do. So at this point, I'm asking your guys' help. If you see something that I'm doing wrong here, please tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, because it's just kind of, it's, it's, it's a little defeating because this one's working just fine, but this one's not. And I can't turn this farm on until those essences have a place to go, but it's okay for right now. It's fine. I, I'm going to keep working on it. I'm going to keep, you know, messing around with it. And if you guys have any advice for me, please let me know because I'm not spending any more time on it right now. Um, I, I don't know what else to do. I really don't. It's it's a little saddening, but it's okay because we're going to get a couple uh, achievements down now. Now we're going to get some quests done. All right. So one of the ones I wanted to take a look at was over here in Gamma, right? Because we're pretty, for the most part, we're done with beta. I could get into the Elven Portal, but I, we don't have a need for any of the Elven Portal stuff yet. So we're just going to kind of hold off on these for the moment. I know I've really been concentrating on like, you know, being a completionist with a lot of the stuff, but it'll be okay for right now. Um, and then I don't have the dyes yet to make the epic bacon. And so until I start making some dyes, I'm not going to uh, really mess with, well, trying to get to that one. And the cinnamon French or the French toast is really, really simple. We'll probably do that. I don't know in a, a near episode, but not today because I want to work on the gamma stuff. We've got some things that we can do here. And I feel very comfortable, very comfortable with Alpha. That's the one thing we can't do. Beta I'm comfortable with. So I figured it's time to take a look over at Gamma. And we've got a couple that we could probably do right now. So the first one is chipsets. And it wants a redstone chipset, which we've already done, right? Now I need an iron chipset, a gold chipset, a diamond chipset, a quartz chipset, redstone comp chipset. So we're going to type in the, oh, and crystallized redstone. So we're going to type in the word chipset and see all the materials we need for this. And also, I need to remember to grab a chest. So, oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me get into here. Okay, there we go. So, let me grab a chest so these have somewhere to go. There we go. And now, chipsets. So, redstone we already got. 
Iron, I'm figuring it's iron and redstone. Easy. Gold is gold and redstone? Yes. Diamond, diamond, redstone? Good. Quartz? Okay, so this is pretty simple. Um, th oh, that's a comparator in redstone. We can do that. And then emerald and redstone. So let's just go grab all of our materials. Um, redstone is obviously uh, a, a necessary thing. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and get just a little piece of each. So iron got you. And gold, we've got you. Diamond, we have you. Quartz, we have you. I'm pretty sure I have a comparator from that set. Yep, yeah, from the Seth Bling uh, chest, loot chest that we get, or uh, not loot chest, but the oh, what are those things called? Chance cubes. Yeah. Uh, what else was there? We'll just make them all, uh, just to have kind of one around of each. So that's all of those. I need this, which is an ender pearl and an emerald. I don't know if I actually have any ender pearls in here. Oh, I, psh, never mind. I got 20 of them. So there's you. And finally, uh, what was the other one? Oh, an emerald, which we've got plenty of. So this is easy peasy right here. Easy, easy, easy. So. You go in there. You, 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 and you. So we'll go ahead and start with iron. And you'll start working up. It's going to be a little bit of some time. <coughs> Hopefully not too bad in general. And we'll get all those made up. And let me put this chest. I don't know. We'll just put that right there. All right. And there was one other one because it's getting close to... Oh, it just passed midnight. Man, I didn't even notice... I was like, the other one I wanted to take a look at was doing the division sigil so we can start making some unstable ingots and knock out a couple of these little guys right here. But it's past midnight. Can I do the angel block? I haven't actually made an angel block in a while and I forget the recipe. And the ender pump I think is out of my realm right now. Let's see. Ender thermic pump. Ender thermic. Is it hyphenated? hyphen ender thermic pump there it is that one oh yes energized water which means me oh yeah i remember looking at this because i didn't have any lily pads or uh vines now i have lily pads right these ones and then they're also the lily pad of fertility and now i have the nature essence to make those anyway so that might be something we make relatively soon we'll see um you're still not done? Oh my goodness, you take forever. What is the RF required for that uh, chipset? The iron one, 600,000 RF. Okay, not producing that much energy down here, so. <laughs> All right, so anyways, we can, however, like I said, look at the angel block. Although, I don't know, does that, well, I don't know what the recipe is on this. Angel block. Uh, obsidian, gold, and feathers. Yeah, I think we can do that. <laughs> That's nice and simple. Thank you. Craft it up. Cool. Achievement completed. So, oh, wow. And apparently we've already got the iron drum, so we got that. And we've already got magical wood, so let's go ahead and claim up some of these loot chests. It's amazing how they just kind of open up when you do that. And you. Okay, cool. So, a couple loot chests there. That's going to open up this side. These are going to be just a minute. What about this transfer node hyper energy? Let's check that out. A hyper transfer node hyper energy. It's going to take four energy nodes and a bedrockium ingot. Ooh, I don't think we have nearly enough cobble for that because that. Oh, you know what? I do have some septuplet. <laughs> How many do I have um, compressed? Uh, sextuplet compressed. We've got four of them. That is 51,000 uh, cobble. Yeah, we're not there yet. I need to start setting up something to start looking at uh, making some bedrockium. That's going to be something we need to put in the near future. Oh, what are you, you're making the wrong one. Why did you switch? Stop the nonsense. Make the right one. No, turn you off. That's why it was taking so long. Because I started making the wrong one. Yeah, I've got four of those now. Stop that nonsense. 
Oh my goodness, that's gonna take a minute. Okay, I'm gonna wait till those are all finished. You know what? <laughs> I'm risking it. I know crazy stuff can happen, but I'm gonna risk it. Actually, you know what? Ha! Let's get use of our angel block. It's nice and cheap. <laughs> Let's get nice and far away from the base in case it's anything crazy. And we'll place you there. We're going to play our... Should we do... Let's do the regular chance cubes first. We're going to do these. Hopefully we get something cool. Uh, may death rain... Oh! oh! Good thing I was airborne. <laughs> That could have been really... I'm so glad I didn't set these down on the base now. Blocks of coal. Oh! Well, that was interesting. There goes my angel block. We didn't even get to do the... We didn't even get to do the chance cube. That's okay. We've got a minute. And... Oh, we're at like 34 minutes right now. I was so close to getting it right at 30 minutes. But... Uh, yeah, I really want to get these done. I'm going to go ahead and just wait till these all finish up. And then we'll come back. And then maybe we'll open like five of these at the same time. I'll make a couple angel blocks. We'll open a whole bunch of icosahedrons as soon as this is done. And this is how we'll finish up the episode. Hopefully I don't die. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys. So while those chip sets are finishing, I figured let's have a little fun. We've got 10 icosahedrons. Let's see what happens. I don't know, should I do them all at once? No, we're gonna do them all separately. I put a little platform just in case they drop anything and uh, we might wanna pick it up or whatever. But, oh man, I see like skeletons or something. Oh, creeper, ooh, good, gore, get, get away. That's, that's not good. Let's try the next one. Ooh, it's snowing up here. Let me build up here and get some snow. In a swampland? Interesting. Oh, no. Oh, is this the fake one? I think this is the fake one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Kiwi. All right, next. You know, I don't have a lot of good luck with these things. That's for sure. Let's see. Something cool. Can I get something cool, please? Oh, what was that? Oh, a free farming st Oh, Okay. I'm all about it now. I'm g a free farming station. I mean, not that they're hard to make anymore, but that's actually pretty cool. I'll take it. There's like an imaginary ghast here up there. Don't do that. Leave me alone. That's not even cool. Oh, what the? Where are you at? You're, like, not even really there. Come on, shoot another fireball. I dare you. Shoot another fireball. Where you at? Oh, my God. Oh, I heard it. I heard it die. I saw the ghast here, actually. That was kind of cool. Okay. Well, we got a farming station. It was cool, but everything else has been kind of mean. All right. Come on. Come on. Let's get something cool here. Really? Again? Well, I, at least I know I can ignore you now because you're just fake. Fake wither. That's what you are. You're a fake wither. <sighs> That's kind of funny, though. All right, next. Oh. Oh, my God. You see all the, see them all sailing to the ground? <laughs> you can't mess with me when I'm flying out in the open. All those creepers. Into the void you go, creepers. I hope you were all John Cena creepers and you deserve it. A boat! <laughs> Just a block of water in a boat. Do, 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 do. Not often. Okay, let's start that one up. I probably shouldn't stay here, but I kind of want to stay in the boat and see what happens. This is so stupid of me. Oh, no, I, I can't do it. Oh. Uh, one is lucky, one is not. Well, I know I'm going to pick the not lucky one, so... You know, whatever. It's That's just my way. Bad luck every time. I didn't do that. Come on, break the boat. There we go. Just fill that water. Okay. Oh, good grief. Which one do we open? 
Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. What a, a golden egg. Oh, is that the thing that spawns a mini me? Is that the one that spawns a mini me? Oh, if it is, that's so awesome. Uh, I, I, that's got to be the lucky block. That was uh, of the two. Okay, because, you know, you always need some squid. Get out of here, guys. Get out of here. Come on. Last one. Maybe we'll start finishing our episodes like this. You guys tell me. If you want me to finish episodes doing crazy, you know, chance cube openings and hoping for the best, maybe we can start doing that. There goes all the creepers again. Bye-bye, guys. All right. Well... That was fun while it lasted, but uh, those icosahedrons really don't do much for the niceties. All right, well, I'm going to go back and finish up with these chipsets, and then, uh, well, we'll finish up then. All right, we'll be right back. All right, I'm breaking one more time just because this is taking a very, very long time, and I'm just sitting here, and I want to do one more fun thing <laughs> while I'm waiting because I am just waiting here. Uh, pretty much everything's been done except for this crystallized redstone, which is a redstone block. It just, it takes forever. I think this one is 3.6 million or no, 10 million. This one is 10 million RF. Um, crystallized redstone. Where are you at? I think that's what it was. 10 million RF. That one takes a while. Everything else done. Got them all. But that one's taking a minute. So I wanted to check out the golden egg. I think this is like the mini me one, right? I think that's what this is. There you go. Get a little click. And I believe it does something. Like it gives you like a little mini me, I believe. Oh, there it goes. I hope this is the one that gives me the mini me. I hope it doesn't blow up my base. This could have been the stupidest thing. I'm pretty sure this is gives me the little guy that follows me around. Oh, oh. Okay, that's spinning out kind of fast. That kind of scares me. Um, oh, crap. I Oh, crap. Oh, my Andrew Chris. Oh, this was a bad idea. Oh, this was such a bad idea. It's tearing my base apart. Oh, this is such a horrible idea. Oh, did I see him down there? Did I see... It is a mini me though. Ah, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Hi. Hi. Well, okay, it didn't do a lot of damage. I got really lucky though, um, due to the fact that like I saw it taking my crystals. And uh, now they're all up here. That's funny. At least they all came back. Um, little explosion, no big deal. I'm just glad it didn't take from this while it's in the process because that thing takes forever. Oh my gosh, I got a mini me. Um. But he's just standing there. Come on, homie. I don't want to, like, hit him. But... Oh! Hey! Oh, that's funny. He picked me up. Come on, dude. Let's go do something. Come on, man. That is so cool. Oh, now I can have fixed my base. All right, well, once again, um, we'll pause and... Oh, look at all the damage I got to fix. Yeah, we'll pause. And once this thing is done, which is going to take forever, we will be back. We'll get the last freaking claim. Um, oh, can I pick him up in a soul vial and bring him up here? Can you do that? Let's try that. Can I pick you up? Can I pick you up? I can. Cool. Um, That's actually pretty cool. Let's. I want you walking around up here, man. Come join me. What does that say? Mini me. There you go, man. Come hang out. Oh, that's so scary. You're right there and right there. And technically, right here. Oh, there's going to be three heads. Hold on. Let me take my armor off. Hey, there you go. Oh, that's kind of scary. Oh, hey, where are you going, man? Where are you going? All right, so we'll be back as soon as that crystal's done. All right, travelers, it is finally done. Oh. All right, let's get all these in my inventory. Get this thing. Oh, there it is. We've got it. Claim. I'm going to go with the bottom one. All right. Chipset is done. So we've got a fuel efficiency upgrade. We got some heart glass. And we got some long range linking viaduct. Viaduct. I still haven't figured those out yet. I'll have to play with those a little bit. But on the bright side, it is all good. 
And, oh, this is such a good. Come here. Pick me up again. I want a ride. Come give me a ride. Come on. Give me a ride. Come on, man. Pick me up. No? You're not going to pick me up? All right. Cool. Well, you're lost. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It just helps me get a couple more views. That's really what it comes down to. The more likes, the, the more visibility you can get and stuff. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. So, anyways, I just wanted to open those up. I don't even care. I'm going to use it for the mana essence anyways. Although I don't know if I'm ever have a need for mana essence again. We've got our armor. All right. So, anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button. And if you're brand new to the channel and you want to see more like this, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. It will just send you a notification letting you know when I post new videos, which is pretty close to daily right now. Anyways, until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slider Havoc. And I'll, oh, one more thing. Remember, if, 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 because I picked all these up and it just reminded me as I was looking over here. If you guys know what is wrong with that crafting table and why it won't work for me, please let me know. It's making me very sad, and I don't want to be sad. I want to be happy. I'm having so much fun, but I can't get any further until... Oh, I can't, I can't get any further. I can't, you know, go any further with this farm until I can figure out why it's not working. And it, yeah, it is making me so sad right now. This one seems to be working just fine, but that one... I don't know what's going on. I've, I've tried resetting. I've reset the server. I've tried a lot of different options and it just won't work. It's making me very sad. I'm a very sad cookie right now. These didn't have power, I can understand, but they do. So if you guys know what's going on and why this isn't working, please let me know down in the comments. I would truly appreciate it. But until next time, travelers, I am Slider Havoc and I am out of here. Peace.